Alrighty, Lumberjacks and Lumberjills. I know you've been waiting for this update all day and all yesterday. I'm getting so many messages and comments about a construction update. I'm so sorry I've slowed them down. I just want there to be good content for you guys so I'm not reporting on the same footer each day. Hopefully you guys understand, but let's get right to it. All right, so here we have some PVC piping. Work is finally going into the tunnel. I was wondering when this was gonna happen. It is great to see this happening. So PVC piping is definitely for electronics. So I'm assuming lighting, uh, maybe some stereo uh, or sound of some sort for a sound effects. Um, and then maybe even some fog or mist effects as well. But a lot of work is going in. There's definitely a, a person in there every day now for the last two days installing, uh, three days, sorry, it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, installing electrical um, on both sides. Um, so it's definitely lighting for sure. And uh, yeah, super exciting. Here's a great view of the station area, by the way. So they are done their break run in station area um, as a whole. But um, I wanted to zoom in on Mindbuster and show you this PVC piping on another coaster. So this is the same PVC piping, sunlight um, safe <laughs> on Mindbuster, and they use it for the speakers up the lift hill. So um, it could definitely be for anything in the tunnel. Now here's a shot of the tunnel I wanted you guys to see. Um, so as you can see, the tunnel is definitely starts in a valley, like a valley and a pond, much lower than when it exits. So it's definitely a different shape. Now I also wanted to show you the footers in the pond. So currently we have one, two, three, four, about five footers in the pond, and we are expecting nine. Now we're not sure if all five footers are counted as in the pond because a couple of them are kind of like right on the edge. So we don't know if there's four more footers that are um, expected to uh, be there or maybe five or six more footers that they have to pour in the pond. We know that there's not enough footers in that pond for the coaster to head on back over to Timberwolf. Two is not going to cut it. Um, but yeah, this is this weird activity over by Mindbuster. I cannot explain it. Wonder Mountain Junior, if I were to be reporting on construction of a Wonder Mountain Junior, is coming along nicely. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at my own joke. But yes, <laughs> construction over here is definitely baffling. They're creating a service road um, right here for vehicles to get around Mount Wonder Mountain Junior. I find it to be somewhat of an eyesore. I'm so confused as to why they're piling dirt right next to Splashworks. We are having an extremely hot summer, and the minute it doesn't rain for a week or a couple of days, and it's uh, this dirt dries out and then it's windy, it's right next to the wave pool. I'm so confused, or confuzzled is my word, as to why they're choosing to store dirt here. Um, very, very curious as to what this is for. I'm almost baffled and wondering if it's for a possible future expansion of Splashworks. Um, as you can see, they're definitely adding some Canadian flair to the area already. We've got some nice Canadian barrels slash standing area for your alcoholic beverages at that new stand there. Can't wait to try it out. Um, but yes, construction is moving along nicely in this area. They had poured footers in this last couple of days that I didn't even realize they poured. You'll see in the next clip that the footer, the first turnout right there, first turnout of the station is done. I didn't even know they poured that. I was like, I saw that today and I was like, what? I was like, that was fully covered yesterday. I was like, they are moving fast. They are done their station area, their break run, their transfer track. And now they're almost done the turn out of the station and the pre-lift. And from what I can tell, the first portion of the lift hill is already done. Half of the lift hill is done. It may even be the full lift hill is done. I'm so confused. You all know that. I'm not going to get into it again and again and again, but we're all confused as to what is going on with this construction project and why is it already 30 to 50% done? So as you know, in my other construction updates, I'm going to have now a bar. So when I do a construction update for a lot of parks, there's going to be a construction bar for how far along I think the construction project is. Again, it's just an estimate, but I thought it'd be something fun to throw in there. So I put, I put our coaster at 30%. I put Copperhead Strike from Carowinds at 10%, and I put the Great Adventure Coaster down at zero because no ground has been dug yet. But yeah, definitely great shots I got of the construction site today. Love it. Couldn't, um, still don't know what that footer is for. It's definitely probably just for like um, theming. <laughs> I looked at Val Raven's early construction from above, and it does not resemble this whatsoever. Um, so cement is about to be poured. I could tell they were getting ready for the final batch of cement for the massive um, rectangular portion of this footing for the pre-lift. And I can tell it's going to be massive, just like Val Ravens. So no, no differences there. Just a little differences in like the um, surrounding area. 
um, which I assume is probably for theming of some sort. We know this coaster is probably going to be heavily invested in terms of theming. Um, we're, we're learning stuff about a pond. We're learning stuff about, like, you know, uh, the Yukon Gold Rush, Klondike Gold Rush, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, uh, yeah, just early construction projects as a whole. Now, this is where it gets interesting, okay? Um, there is a lot of water systems, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's like that... Normally, it'd be like you saw water main construction almost. Lots of water main pieces coming in. Um, so I don't know if that's for the hotel, but it's being brought in by Rutherford Construction, which is doing the coaster project. Um, so I don't know if that confirms a possible splashdown. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, it doesn't fully mean a splashdown. It could be for the pond. It could be for anything. But I mean, it's super weird that it's coming in. I thought they were done all the water work um, because the stationery is done. Um, so I'm assuming this is for the Timberwolf area. And I'm assuming it's probably linked to the pond and maybe a possible splashdown. Wasn't expecting it. But again, in this back area, lots of Canadian theming from trees to water towers um, to barrels to uh, dive coaster parts. I mean, what? <laughs> um, to uh, some more rebar cages and threaded rods stored back, here, stored back there. Um, yeah, super exciting. A very large project. I am so excited. I have a timer going. We are down to um, literally uh, one month and 26 days until announcement. One month and 26 days. Can it go fast, please? I just want to know every aspect of this coaster. I want to know the theming most. I just want to know like the uh, like the renderings. Like I want to see like what the area is going to look like. I'm so excited. And I know you guys are too. You guys are like you know, jabbing at me to get these updates out sooner. And I couldn't be happier. Don't worry, keep doing it. Keeps me on my toes, gets me out there and gets me to film more footage. Um, but yeah, let's get into a bit of a discussion now. How big is this project going to be? So using CAD, CAD, um, we had an engineering student um, do up some renderings, drop some renderings for us and uh, using some pictures of ours. And here are some cool shots. So we estimate the tunnel depth to be about 24 um, feet deep. That's an estimate again. So 24 feet deep by 106 feet long. Um, and the angle of ascent on the coaster to be anywhere between 38 and 40 degrees. Um, this brings it up to about the 255 foot mark that we were expecting. So again, we always throw out the 255 mark for the lift hill. Um, and it, like that is impressive on its own. So picture a 200 and let's say between 220 and 250 something foot tall coaster towering over Wonderland with a 24 foot approximate dive depth into a tunnel. So make that around 270s. Um, feet dive of some sort minimum or 250 to 270 foot dive of some sort. Again, these are all estimates. Um, so again, we are estimating the lift hill to be at a 40 degree angle approximately with a 255 foot tall um, lift hill and a possible dive into the valley and tunnel. We can't estimate that fully. So we don't know the length of the drop, but um, we're working really hard to solve this for you guys. As you can tell, we're putting a lot of time and effort into this. Hopefully you guys enjoy our updates. I know you do, um, but I want to know from you guys, how tall do you think this coaster is going to be? Do you think it's going to be just the 255 foot dive with the tunnel? Do you think it's going to be a 270 foot dive with the tunnel? Or do you think it's going to be a Giga Dive Coaster? As you know, we've been talking about the Giga Dive Coaster concept. We ourselves said that we don't fully believe it ourselves either. It's a hard concept to grasp, um, but it definitely isn't fully out of the picture yet. Don't lose hope. We are just basing this um, these renderings were off of CAD from um, predictions and photos from differing angles. So it is hard to uh, come up with a good concept or um, prediction for the layout of the coaster. But we are getting closer and that's what's exciting. So with the help of a very large team, we're getting closer to solving this project before it's even announced. And I am so thrilled. 
I, I don't even care if it's a copy of Val Raven diving into a tunnel, then into a pond, towering over uh, Timberwolf, heading over Vortex. It is insane. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, share the video, and head on over to Patreon and support us on there if you wish to. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.